Today's Bible English, Judges chapter 9, verse 23. But Gideon replied, I will not rule over you, nor will my son. The Lord will over you. However, I have a one quest request. Each of you can give me an earring out of the treasures you collected from your fallen enemy. The enemy being Ismarite or were gold earring. Gladly, they replied, they spread out a crock and each one threw the gold earring he had gathered. The weight of the gold earring was 43 pounds, not including the crescent and pendant. The royal clothing of the kings were the clans around the deck of their camels. Gideon made a sacred abbot from the gold and put it on Apra, his hometown, but soon all the Israelite prostitute themselves by worshipping it, and it became a trap for Gideon and his family. That is the story of how Israel subdued Midian, which never recovered. Throughout the rest of the Gideon's lifetime, about 40 years, the land was at peace. Then Gideon, son of Joas, returned home. He had 70 sons, for he had many wives. He also had a concubine in Sechem, who were his uh, son, named Abimelech. Gideon died when he was very old, and he was buried in the grave of his father, Joas, apart in the land of the clan of Abijur. As soon as Gideon was dead, the Israelites prostituted themselves by worshipping the image of Baal, making Baal buried their gold. They forgot the road their God, who had rescued them from all their enemies surrounding them, nor did they show any royalty to the family of the Jerubal. That is the Gideon despise all the good he had done uh, for Israel. Abimelech ruled over Sechem. One day, Gideon's son Abimelech went to Sechem to visit his mother's brother. He said to them and the rest of his mother's family, Ask the people of Sechem whether they went to want to ruled by all 70 of Gideon's son or by one man. And remember, I am your own flesh and blood. So Abimelech's uncle spoke to all the people of Sechem on his behalf. And after listening to their proposal, they decided in favor of Abimelech because he was their relative. They gave him 70, 70 silver coins from the Temple of the Bear Berry which he used to hire some soldiers who agreed to follow him. He took the soldiers to his father's home at Opar, and, uh, and there, once done, they killed all 70 of their his behaved brother. But the youngest brother, Jordan, escaped and hid. The people of Sechem and Bear Myers called the meeting under the oak beside the pillar and Sechem made Abimelech their king. Jordan's parable. When Jordan heard about this, he climbed to the top of the mountain, Gerizim, and shouted, Listen to me, people of Sechem. Listen to me if you want God to listen to you. Once upon a time, the tree beside decided to elect a king. First, they said to the olive tree, Be our king. But it left you saying, Should I quit producing the olive oil that blessed both God and people just to wave back and forth over the trees? Then they said to the fig tree, You be my, our king. But the fig tree also left you saying, should I quit producing my sweet fruit just to wave back and force over the tree? Then they said to the grapevine, You be my king. But the grapevine 
replied, Should I quit producing the wine that cheered both garden people just to wait back and forth over the tree? Then all the tree finally turned to the thousand and said, Come, you be my you be our king. And the thumb bush replied, If you truly want to make me your king, come and take a shelter in my shade. If not, let fire come out from me and devour the cedar of the Lebanon. Now make, a make you sure you have acted honor, honorably in a good faith, making Abimelech your king, and that you have done right by Gideon and all of, all of his descendants.